Okay, so we're just going to take a look at a kneeling banded bilateral external rotator. So just on the knees and I'm squeezing the glutes. So the knees, hips, shoulders are all in a nice straight line. I don't want to be arching the back, okay? I don't want to be sitting back with the hips. The hips are open and extended. I'm going to hold the band, supinated grip, and lock the elbows or hop beside me in this position. From here, the chest is up, shoulder blades back and down. And what I want to try to do is pull the band apart, keeping the elbows close, and then slowly bringing the band back again. Pulling the band apart, keeping the elbows close, so letting the band come back again. Okay, squeeze hard, how far back can you pull? Come back again, okay? I want you to really try and think about what the scapula are doing. So as I start to pull the band apart, the scapula are retracting and pulling together. So I'm working the rotator cuffs there, but I'm also working the retractors in the upper back to really try and keep the chest up and squeeze the shoulder blades together nice and hard. Don't do it with momentum. Try to take the tension with the band and pull it. If the band you've got it too tight, I can just hold a single part of the band, okay? And start to do them a little bit easier, okay? Otherwise, we can buy tubular bands that are quite low in resistance. So find a band that you can get the reps out with. Holding weight plates or holding weights like this doesn't really work, okay? The weight's pushing down, the resistance is not in the right line of force. Whereas the band is trying to snap back together, okay? So the weight is in the right line of force. So just make sure you're using the resistance band for this and we'll start to build some strength in the retractors and in the rotator cuff.